We're heading into the main battle zone with Philippine Special Forces. The siege of Marawi is over, but these streets are still not safe. The militants have left behind buildings rigged with improvised explosives. And there's a danger of further attacks. Sky News filmed this footage in June. As government forces fought to dislodge militants who'd seized control of the heart of the city. Amongst these buildings, they took hostages as human shields, forcing the men to fight with them, the women to become sex slaves. This is what it looks like now. Reclaiming Marawi has meant destroying large parts of it. The price of liberation, utter devastation. President Duterte has called this a triumph of good over evil, but this is not over yet. As the Islamic State loses territory in Iraq and Syria, it's called for fighters to travel here to the Philippines instead, to open up a new front in Southeast Asia. This Marine's force reconnaissance unit was one of the first on the ground here. He showed us what they were up against, an enemy that was well armed and well prepared, firing at them from behind thick concrete walls. But they're using this very small hole. Yes, this here, this is this the very is defensive. For the muzzle of the rifle yes, here. Yes, okay, so to give you some idea of the defensive positions the militants were using here, so this is one of these small holes in the wall. You can see just the muzzle of the rifle pointing out there. So the fighter would be behind hard cover here. And these marines demonstrating how they then retreat through these holes they've blasted in the wall, can use this escape cover. And then you have a secondary firing position here, so another rifle that's able to fire openly on any of the government forces who are coming in through this doorway. These are new tactics, close quarters urban combat, not what this military is used to fighting. Most of our forces are used to fighting in the jungle. And this does not necessarily, uh, this does not usually happen in jungle. So yes, this is a new urban tactic that the enemy is using. Across the compound, we're led into what was another of the militants' positions. Okay, so what we find on the ground here is a one Quran, a book, uh, Confessions of a British Spy and British Enmity Against Islam. There's also a medical textbook over here. This used to be a doctor's house. Your forces had, had fought your way into this building oh, and yes. you then came under attack. Uh, the, some of the enemy will be through them with the, what we call Molotov, can make fire. Into this building and while you're this in building. it? Uh, some, of, uh, some of my company will be wounded. The militants in Marawi had pledged allegiance to Islamic State, and all this supplied them with powerful propaganda, supposed evidence of their global jihad now moving beyond the Middle East. Marawi. Defeating the ideology behind this will take more than airstrikes and artillery. Definitely, we can't kill the ideology. The ideology is there to stay. We can only render it irrelevant. We can render it irrelevant if the people feel, feel that they are being taken care of by the government. No, no more, no more. But shelter. that will be easier said no than more. done. The house is uh, totally destroyed. These people are visiting their houses for the first time since the conflict ended. What have you been able to bring out of the house? Yeah, it is a material, in pieces. All this man could salvage yeah. is in this plastic bag. Islamic the rest of his belongings have vanished. S simple things. They took everything, even iron, even... Uh, Rice cooker, small one. They got all. Alhamdulillah, the house is still standing. Who do you think took it? Oh, we cannot, uh, because we did not so. Mm. But the, this place is controlled by a military, 100%. We heard the same story again and again, that all the valuables are gone, and all from areas they believe were under the military's control. This is, cool. this is only the lift. This man shows us the single charred bracelet they've found. Look what happened here. Please, word, help us. We are innocent. 
This will be the next battle for the military and the government here, managing the anger of families returning home to find they've lost everything and looking for someone to blame. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Marawi City.